Hey Virgo, welcome back to another episode of Your Love Life. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Welcome back everyone. If you're new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. Just click that link and you would be able to book your reading at, in some cases same day. Really just depends. I'm booked up for the rest of this week, but you can grab the next available one hour phone call or a 30 minute phone call. Okay, you guys. Remember, this is a general love reading. This will be for Virgos and Virgos only. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Male or female. Masculine or feminine. <clears throat> I feel like I need to preface that because some people are like, why do you keep saying male or female? I mean, it's just energy. <laughs> However you identify as you know, up to you, obviously. All right, let's take a look. I'm going to do the Celtic Cross tonight. See what the energies are here playing out. Celtic Cross reading. Let's see. Okay, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. What are the messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus? Welcome, you guys. If you're in the chat, if you're not in the chat, please join the chat every evening. I feel if you need support or you need to talk to anybody, the chat is like awesome. Let's take a look here. Okay. So past position, the four of swords, the present, nine of pentacles, the challenge. I'm not pulling reversals in this spread. The challenge, the benefit is the wheel of fortune. Driving the reading, page of swords, crowning is... The Queen of Swords, wow, near future, the world. This is my kiss my ass card. <laughs> the Five of Swords in the position of you, oh my goodness, Virgo. External to you, the Eight of Pentacles, or the other person, or other people. Hopes and fears, you have the Four of Cups. The outcome is the Eight of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Bottom of the deck, you know what? I'm not, this, I'm, I can't even make this up. As soon as these cards were coming out, I just, it just feels like, Virgo, you are, like, if you've never been done with anything in your life before, these cards are like, oh yeah, this is like history. The five of, the five of pentacles. So Virgo, there's like a, someone's feeling left out in the cold, abandoned. I mean, it's not, it's not like a, I, I was just picking up some energy. Somebody here is hearing this and they're like laughing or they're good at if this is you leaving someone out in the cold. And and I I don't, it's not like a judgment, but it kind of feels a little sad. Okay. I don't know if somebody, it's weird energy. I don't know if somebody feels bad about leaving someone out in the cold or has a sense of guilt or maybe remorse. Um, or this, or it's the per, a person. If you've left someone or abandoned a situation, this person feels a sense of guilt or remorse um, that they had something to do with it. Okay. So we have the tower, and towers in the reverse. So it feels like this person was not expecting this. They kind of knew it was coming. That's what I'm hearing. Um, they're having a hard time accepting that something is just completely over. Yet, it feels like they're struggling with it. It's it's kind of a burden. They understand that you know they were too much up in their head or they were just living in la-la land or fantasy land. But the moon tells me like the truth is coming out. This person is getting clarity. And it feels like it's because... Maybe they were just always rushing in with the passion, lusty, sexual energy and nothing more. Um, it feels like this person's aware that they needed to make a decision about you and your connection about, you know, do we become a team? Do we commit? You know, do we get married, um, go the full distance or just stay friends? Maybe they treated you like a friends with benefits or it was just too casual. And they just weren't taking things seriously kind of feels like they're aware of this and I feel like Virgo I'm just hearing some of you just made a decision for yourself you didn't maybe inquire about this other person you just said well 
I'll make the decision for both of us. That kind of thing. That's what I feel like. Um, yeah, look, heartbreak. Maybe they were connecting with others or just too much partying or just too much social fun time and leaving you out in the cold for some of you um, or they had other priorities or maybe dating around or just not taking your feelings into consideration that kind of thing three of swords energy there might have been a third party as well for some of you or just it's a very heartbreaking situation some of you may have been uh, with child and this person just would not commit even with that energy okay whether in utero or gave birth or just have children that just you know this might have been your partner you thought that you were going to marry one day or be with one day and there was a child coming along and this person wasn't taking it seriously they were just sitting on the fence being passive about making a decision okay trying to like it just feels like trying to make up their mind you know really stressful about this this person had a fear of um overcoming themselves it's very bizarre it's like they knew they needed to make a move um but they just oh it just feels like i don't know if they didn't feel like they were good enough or they didn't feel like they could give you what you needed that kind of energy okay i'm not gonna leave these here so i'm gonna tell you that I'm going to tell you that your all signs are on the board here. Okay. I was seeing almost all the signs in here as I was looking. Um, I'm not going to call anybody out right now because I just feel like if this message is going to, you feel like it's resonating for you, then that's your person. Okay. Let me just give these a quick little shuffle. Now I want to see what the romance love messages are at this time. What's going on in Virgo's love life? Please show us what's going on in Virgo's love life. This might have been a, uh, a past person that you've just, you know, as the readings have been playing out that you've just finished with. And I see here in the past, this is like withdrawal, maybe ghosting, disappearing, uh, passive energy, nothing happening. Okay, keep an open mind, Virgo. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Okay, religious factors, maybe some blockages, finances and career, always showing up as number three here. Let's just get one more. This could be the one. Ooh, Virgo, you have some new love coming in, but we'll get to that in a minute, okay? And I will check that to see. I just feel like the past energy, the four of swords, it's like withdrawal, total withdrawal. Um, maybe ghosted. There was an energy between two people where it's like just not going to happen. Somebody just wanted, some of you might have been praying a lot in the past or asking for healing and blessings or trying to like speaking your your prayers and intentions in the past, hoping for things to work out with you and this person. That might have been an energy like where you would be laying in bed at night and you had your prayers up and you were just praying and praying and praying. Okay. Mm. You know, oh, I see, I see, I see. There's three swords hanging on the wall there, praying for healing. This is a healing card after the three of swords, heartbreak. Some of you really got your heart broken by another person. Some of you really did. Uh, if there was cheating or just a third party interference. Now, when I say third party, it doesn't necessarily mean it was a person. It could have been a place or a thing. It was just some type of interference in this relationship. It could have been um, somebody kind of like interjecting either their opinions. This person might have had an addiction. Addiction can be a third party interference. Could have been another person, anything. You know your story better. Okay, it's it's a noun. <laughs> it's a person, place, a thing. It's it could have been an argument, or um, it could have been something that happened. That you two were on a path of making a decision to work things out or be together, but something something infiltrated the connection and left you heartbroken. Heartbroken, and I feel like in the past you. Um, 
may, this could have even just been yesterday. You may have just gotten into this position where you just wanted to heal. You needed to heal. Some of you were praying for healing in that relationship. Um, or maybe some of you might have been setting your intentions and asking spirit or lighting candles and asking for that third party thing to be removed from the relationship. Okay. But I feel like a lot of you also needed to remove yourself from the relationship. So past energy healing, which is a positive healing is always a positive. Okay. But it was not easy for you. Hold on. I just wanted to kind of chill the music out here a little bit okay so your current energy oh actually they just said pull a card on the four of swords so let's see what's going on here just tell me more about the four of swords for virgo okay yeah six of wands praying for a victory praying for success praying for something to be healed in this past relationship okay Praying this person would just get out of their head and their ego. You might have been dealing with someone who just had a very large ego. I just thought that their, their sh ish didn't stink and that they were, they didn't need you. They had all the attention and victory and applause and admiration. Um, some of you were even hoping that this person would be successful in their life. I know there's a lot of Virgo who have good intention for the people that they love, even when Virgo gets hurt. Um, but I feel like this past energy, I, I, when I look here, it seems to me like you're, you're on good, you're on good ground. Okay. Look, 10 of cups here. Yeah. Praying for, Oh, it just feels like support healing a family relationship seeking love and support a lot of you i know went through something you were just hoping or sending your attention to this person would like see the error of their ways or see how they were hurting you and things like that okay let's get away from the past energy because we do way too much of that past stuff let's take a look at you right now virgo you look amazing male or female you've got the nine of pentacles so you're independent, you're solo, you're standing tall right now. You may not feel all that wonderful. Some of you may, okay? Um, in other words, when I say that, I feel like some of you are like having to accept the situation right now. And even though you have yourself and you have your family and you have, you know, your money and, and you know, your nice clothes and, and, for the most part, I mean, this is the Virgo card. For the most part, you're pretty stable. You got things going on for yourself, which is good, but you're single. And a lot of you are just standing here, like waiting for the winds of change to come. You know, it's really a benefit for you with this wheel of fortune um, and in your favor to work hard to make, you know, make bank, um, to see your grit, your your blessings to actually take a look and see how lucky you truly are right now. I don't know what that might mean for you, but you might just still, it feels like there's no emotion here. So I feel like a lot of you have put your emotions on the back burner, or you've just said, let me just deal with what's in front of me, like the practical stuff. Okay. Uh, some of you are doing a little retail therapy shopping, <laughs> make yourselves feel better. Um, let me take a look here. It's a challenge for you though, to move forward. It really is. It's a challenge, but you're doing it because no obstacle is too much of a challenge for you, Virgo. You know that when you give your heart and if you gave your heart to somebody and it wasn't reciprocated, you know that you will still survive. Virgos are survivors. You will still keep it moving. You'll be okay. So let me see this nine of pentacles. Okay. Yeah. See five of cups. That's what I was saying. There's a bit of um, sorrow at this time in your heart, your emotions, the emotions. I don't feel like a lot of you are feeling overly joyous and happy. Um, you, you don't have that dopamine hit, so to speak, but you guys are kind of like, hmm. Well, everything else is good in my life. You know, my, my house is clean and my family's good and I have a job. And so you are looking at your blessings for sure. 
but your emotions when it comes to that for some of you you're kind of just feeling I don't know, remorseful, sorrowful, regretful. Um, some of you may feel like if you've left somebody that it was a wrong decision. Others of you may feel like, nope, that was the right decision. Some of you just stayed as long as you could or hung on because you didn't want to go through the feeling of sadness. You didn't want to feel that grief. So I get it, Virgo. You know, everything else, if anybody was on the outside looking at you, they would see that you look good, you're, you're strong, you're independent, but your emotions, your, your heart hurts a little bit here, okay? Um, but I see in this month here, as difficult as things are, you're going to see, Virgo, that this was all meant to be. This was all a blessing in disguise for you. You may not understand it. You may feel lost and confused at this time you may be hurting you may have like nights where you're sitting there with pints of ice cream and you know you're just disengaging from everyone right now you may have a little bit of depression this is a beautiful thing though it really is luck is on your side here virgo and it's this is a benefit that's happened that you this decision you made or if somebody else made the decision for you and you didn't go back you're moving forward it's a beautiful thing for now, okay, there's an emperor coming into your life, Virgo. There's there's an emperor, there's a person who's coming into your life. This is what this is all meant to be. Whatever you were, you were holding on and kicking a dead horse for a very long time. Some of you feel that way. Some of you definitely loved your past person, but you felt like you were it feels like you were the four pillars of that relationship and the person was just kind of letting you lift them up but they weren't really contributing in a lot of ways you learned some really huge lessons here virgo i do feel like you're trying to keep your mind open in regards to love you are looking for your other half, your soulmate. You're definitely in that energy. And, and I feel like you're kind of like grieving the loss <clears throat> of a past relationship, yet open for someone new. And somebody's coming in here. And the reason why, if you haven't met anyone yet, I mean, I feel like this is now and going into the rest of this month. And the reason why this hasn't happened for some of you is because it's a real challenge for you to get that wheel to keep it moving and keep moving forward okay this person comes in exactly as you were hoping your past person would come in and don't worry that same attraction that you had for your last person those feelings that um those butterflies in the stomach they're going to come with this new person okay the emperor is aries energy for some, it could be an empress. It could be a Libra. Um, but apart from that, it's just energy. This is someone who is respectful. They are courteous. Uh, the confidence. They have that. They, they, not too, it's not ego. It's not high ego. It's just they're self-assured. They're good at taking care and nurturing. They're a good father. They're a good mother. Um, they are not someone who is unstable. They're very stable. They have, probably have a good job and they run a big company. Some of you may have already met this person, okay? They have a leadership role. They come in with like a, you know, someone who's just not fearful. They know who they are, okay? And this is like a lucky break that's coming in for you, Virgo. This is something that you've been hoping for. This is the person. This could be the one. Some of you have already met this person. This could be the romantic partner that you've been seeking for quite a long time, okay? Now listen, Virgo. You know what? They said, just get another card for this emperor. Tell us more about this emperor. This person um, comes in with, like, it's, I just keep feeling luck. I just feel like you're, you're gonna feel very, you're gonna feel very lucky. What you thought you, okay, this is what they're saying. When you meet this new person or when you, 
you know, get yourself in that place to welcome a new love in your life. When that energy comes in, you're going to look back on the past person with a loving heart, but also like, why was I settling for less than I deserve? There's a comparison, okay? You, you, there's a comparison that's kind of going to make you see. I feel like you wish this past person well to some degree because you do love this person but maybe you just weren't compatible their chemistry might have been there but there was some obstacles maybe religious obstacles economic cultural racial whatever it might have been here these there's these were factors that played a role in why something didn't go through it might have been a moral um different belief system, a lack of understanding one another, no matter how hard, just, you know, I feel like some of you were, were just, maybe you were brought up or raised differently than this person, but you fell in love and you both fell in love with each other, but you weren't in alignment. That's what I feel. And some of you know, you know now, or you knew then that you needed to let go, but some of you were just still holding on. Maybe there was like a physical attraction that was very strong, that chemistry. There was a lack of compatibility. For some of you, it could have been a long distance kind of thing where it just, you know, too far apart. Um, you could have just been right next door to each other and still felt huge distance. Okay. But you tried to stay strong through that situation. So that, all right, let's take a look at this new person coming in. And this person is going to be a benefit to your life in a lot of ways. They're going to bring benefit to your life, Virgo. Okay. They're not just going to, you know, put their dick on the table and say, this is all I got to bring to the table and vice versa. This person is actually... They, they have the capability to put food on the table. They have the capability to cook for you, to clean. And that's service stuff, but to provide. That's what I'm saying. Mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually. Okay, the fool. Wow. Okay, so... You're going to meet this person while you're traveling, Virgo. Or they're going to be traveling... Okay, so traveling, not necessarily, like, could they be long distance? I'm not picking that up real strong, but you both could live in the same town, but are going home for the holidays, and you meet on a plane. That's what I just heard. Or you meet on a boat, right? You both could be from the same place, but it's like kismet. You meet while you're broken and your heart's hurting, and you're just getting over an an ending kind of thing and you or you go somewhere some of you might even be going to Vegas <laughs> you just you just meet this person they're out they're free they're single they're doing their own thing and it's like boom here they come they just show up into your life I feel it's like around the holidays okay I really do and Virgo I see you here with the page of swords what are you what are you You're looking for something, Virgo. This is what's happening here. You have your eyes open. You're looking for something. You're seeking something, Virgo. What are you seeking? <laughs> okay, King of Wands. You're seeking a king or a queen, and you're getting an emperor or an empress. Don't 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 sell yourself short, Virgo. Expect the best. Okay? Some of you are just Maybe your past person might have been a, a fire sign or just whatever your past person was. You might be spying on this person to see how they're doing. Um, this part of the closure for you, Virgo, I don't know. I don't want to say spying. You might just be curious to see if they're okay or see how they're doing. Kind of like um, you're in transition here. This is what I feel um, because you're still letting go of someone from the past, but then somebody new comes in. So you're kind of like, oh, somebody new and you're happy about this and it, it'll start to feel good. And you'll be like everything I've ever wanted, but you still have those strings energetically attached to someone in the past. So you may not even be looking at this person in any way or, or going to where they work or, you know, passing, you know, past their desk if you work together or anything like that or, you know, if you're connected or if they bring the kids or something and 
you, I, you have a curiosity. I'm not going to lie. But I also feel like this new person, too, has that same curiosity about you. Okay. It's interesting. We so keep getting Leo energy. So for some, this could be a Leo. Um, hmm. Okay. They're just telling me. Oh, yeah. Some of you, let's keep it real. After this heart heartache, or this heartbreak with somebody, um, if you like officially broke up with someone and told them you just weren't going to stay involved with them anymore, you're looking to see if this person is showing that they're hurting. That's what the curiosity. It's not. It's not vengeful. It's. It's more like, did they even care? Did this person even care? That's kind of like your energy. Like, you like. Are they showing any emotion? Um, do they have any regret? Do they feel anything? I feel like you're still kind of curious to know, like, okay, something ended. Like, I ended it. They ended it. I was forced to end it or whatever. But it's like, did they even care? That's what you're curious about. You're wondering that to yourself, okay? Um, and I feel like some of you, because... For some, they may not have showed that. They may have wore their poker face. And for some of you, just having that closure, if for them to just even give a little bit of fight for you, just even a teensy, weensy little bit would have given you a sense that, okay, at least there was something. And a lot of you are struggling with that. I know you are. That's where the heartbreak is. It's like, did they even really love me? what were what was going on all this time i know a lot of you are in that position you know why were you know why were we still meeting up every weekend why were we connecting why were you here what was it all about what was it for did you even really love me and i feel like that's what your curiosity so you're you're still kind of um trying to release that and at the same time you have somebody new coming in here okay Oh, Spirit just threw a card out here. Okay. So, Two of Swords on the Queen of Swords. So, you're definitely in your headspace trying to get clarity at this time. Okay. You're not fully, you're not willing to compromise with your past person at this time. Maybe later. You don't, you never know how things are going to go. But at this time, you're just, you're not even trying to make a decision about anything. You're just seeking clarity. Okay. I feel like a lot of you, you still have those heartstrings attached. The process, you have to trust this process, Virgo. I know a lot of you are like, this person, I'm just putting them out of my head. Like you're forcing it. A lot of you are just trying to force it away. And you just have to let divine timing work through that. Okay. And just, you know, if you feel the emotions or you feel the sadness, feel it label it say oh wow I, I still feel sad about this this is a gauge of your healing it's how to gauge your healing one day virgo you're gonna wake up and you're gonna go through your whole day trust me and you're gonna say to yourself wow uh, i don't feel an emotional attachment any longer right so some of you might just be you know you're kind of in this transition. I do feel like you're in a transition, Virgo, and I think it's totally okay. And be gentle and compassionate with yourself, okay? Um, I do, Virgo, I gotta tell you something. I do feel like this, okay, the Wheel of Fortune just fell out again, so I'll look at that in a second. Virgo, I do feel like this person did have deep, your past person did have deep feelings for you. I do feel that way. I do feel like they truly, they did love you. They had those deep feelings for you. Let me, I just want to take a look, spirit seeing to um, see what their, their hidden emotions or their hidden feelings were for you, Virgo, because I want to help give you closure so you can move on. This person, they blamed you probably for why things didn't move forward, but it was really because of them. Okay. I feel like this person just didn't feel worthy of you, Virgo. And there's really nothing you can do about that. 
and they'll say the timing just wasn't right. Now for some, let's keep this real here. For some of you, this is a timing thing. Some of you needed to release and let go and go with somebody else. I don't know for how long. I don't know if this is going to be your person for the rest of your life, this new person. For some, it could be. And for others of you, it's more like this energy needed to just be released from a past thing. Okay. This person does look there's, they also have regret and remorse in, in a lot of areas for themselves. They wish now that they had treated you better. And I feel like Virgo, it's because this past thing just needed to fizzle out lessons to be learned. Okay. So we have the Queen of Cups here, getting in touch with the emotions. You know what, guys? I'm just going to do you the favor. I'm going to do you the favor. Okay. Aries, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, uh, Leo, Sagittarius energy for sure. Um, you know, strange as, strange as it may seem, there is Virgo here. You might have been connecting with another Virgo. Uh, I'm not seeing Taurus and Capricorn here yet, but I want you to know something about that. Um, and at least not in court cards or uh, Arcana, Major Arcana. But what I want you to know, oh, there is Taurus here. It's Capricorn that's missing. Why is Capricorn missing? Some of you were connected with a Capricorn and this person went MIA, missing, disappeared on you like a hardcore supreme ghost. Either that person passed away and you are still struggling with the grieving process or this person just completely moved on with their life and didn't even give you the benefit of a goodbye or closure. Okay, we're getting a lot of Leo energy here and I feel... For those of you who were connected with someone who didn't pass away, this person really was lacking their confidence and their strength and their ability to give you what they want. That what what you wanted. And I feel like that was a major thing. All right. I'm going to do one more card for your past person. Then we're going to go on to the new. Okay. Although I do feel mostly like this is about you. This person um, buries himself or were, they buried themselves in work. Like when you left. They just went into like complete work mode. Uh, maybe always like, I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy. But they think about everything, the conversations that you both had over the time you were together. They do believe that you will be together again. They do have faith. But for now, Virgo, I just feel like you don't. You're trying to release all the stored up pain. Okay. And here you are with the world card, Virgo. Again, this is like you're walking into the new year. You know, maybe you're transitioning out of all this old stuff um, for the next couple of months, but you're walking into the new year. Okay, feet walking forward. Your head is looking back at the past, but I think I feel like this is one last look. As one last look, you're like, I don't even feel. You know, Virgo, I like I don't feel any anger here at all. Like I know I say this is my kiss my ass card, but, but I just feel like you're getting to this place where you're like, you know what? I'm not even mad, bro. Not even mad, sis. I just got to keep it moving. I just got to keep moving forward and find my person. Some of you thought this was your person, okay? And maybe they were, but maybe they weren't your person. It's not Mr. or Mrs. Right. It's, it's Mr. or Mrs. Not the Right Time. That's what I feel. But did you meet for a reason? You did. Why did Virgo meet this past person? What was the reason for this? Oh. You both needed to come out of your hiding places. You both Oh, they just told me to feel that spark of love again, to feel that passion again. You both needed to uh, you were with both of you individually were holding a lot of things in 
um, in your lives. A lot of hurt, a lot of pain. You both needed to get the confidence, build your confidence. I feel like that was the, the, like the purpose of the relationship was to come to yourselves individually. Uh, lessons learned and to stop fighting. Um, there was a lot of pushback. Virgo, you went through your life pushing back, pushing back, pushing back. You needed to learn kindness and peace and serenity. And this person did the same thing. And they needed to... Um, they needed to learn confidence and security. All right, enough of them. All right, so here you are moving forward, okay? And you are 100% moving forward. I feel like the end of 2021, this is a 21 card here, the world, that's your official one last look back and moving forward, okay? So even though you do have somebody new who's fabulous and wonderful and everything you could ever hope for, Okay, even though you have that, you're still you're not rushing into you're still not rushing into anything just yet. Does that mean you're going to tell this new person? No, absolutely not. You'll go on your dates. You'll spend time holiday time. You'll do things with them. They're showing up the way you wanted your past person to show up. Your past person was not capable to do that. Does it mean they didn't love you? No, they just didn't have the capability. They may not have even been willing, motivated either. Okay, but that's not your problem. You did what you could do. So that one last look back, Virgo, and you're closing the book on it for good. There you are, the King of Pentacles. That's it. That's you. Even in for the Divine Feminine, you're embracing your masculine uh, side, okay? Stability. You get your stability back in a lot of ways. I feel like a past relationship really tore you apart. Okay, five of wands, right? See? You're walking away from the drama. You're walking away from the unmanageability and the uncertainty. I feel like whoever you're with before gave you uncertainty. Okay? You know what, you guys? <laughs> I'm going to get to your new person in a minute. I am. I promise. Just give me a minute. Your advice here is the Five of Swords. To do the shutdown. To shut it out. To keep doing that. Cut it out. Cutting out... Um, People, places, and things that are just unhealthy for you, okay? Whatever that may be for you at this time. That's your advice, Virgo, the Five of Swords energy. This is this person here holds three swords. You may have to break a few hearts in the growth process here. You know, when you're changing and growing, as you know, Virgo, there's going to be people who are going to give you pushback about that because that means they may have to grow as well. And then there's others who are going to just support you and and give you encouragement to keep going in that direction but those people as you're making your decisions and you're cutting out and you're changing things okay and getting rid of the uncertainty or the unstable people in your life people places and things your job your, your place you live whatever it is right you're just trimming the tree here <laughs> you're basically like cutting out everything that is just like sandbags you're cutting them sandbags whatever they may be for you and it just feels like you're gonna have to break a few hearts or a heart but just be careful that you don't get into this be careful that you don't, some of you're cutting out the bullying or abusive behaviors as well or people from people just be careful that you in doing so you don't become a bully yourself but do stand up for yourself okay okay yeah you're cutting out people who are deceptive and lying to you um look you when i said you're cutting out people who are abusive look at this guy here okay he carries five swords so this person could not make a decision with the two of swords here just left things a stalemate and that felt abusive to you and here you are they came in with their five swords doing what they were doing and you are handing it back but you're breaking this person your intention is to uh, drive a wedge in between you and this person so that they cannot hurt you anymore okay and that's a very specific message okay for those of you i know not everybody was was connecting with someone who is extremely verbally abusive you know calling you names or saying that stuff and that message is for those of you who were 
if that was a past lover, that's the person that you're like, nope, no more of that. And for others, it's just energetic. You're cutting out the ener the, the negative energy. All right, let's go in. And, and your advice is to keep doing that, okay? Your advice is to like run as fast as you can from anything that is going to cause heartache or pain. So let's look at this new person, okay? Some of you, I feel like... Some of you have seen this person before, okay? Just this new person coming in. Now, maybe, I don't know how or where you may have seen this person or you've passed by them, but when you did, this is what this is how they looked, okay? Um, yeah, maybe they don't have any hair. They could be bald. <laughs> um, and if it's a female, hey, maybe she's going through chemo, so let's not make any jokes. But um, either way, I feel like, when you see this person, this is how you will see them if you haven't already seen them. They could be sitting at their laptop in a coffee shop. They could be at their desk working. They could be somebody who's a craftsman or working on something or building something. This could be like your, uh, the person, uh, you know, uh, a masculine energy that's um, building something for you, creating something or, you know, um, drawing something. It could be an artist. This is kind of like someone who creates uh, or works very hard, you know, um, this is how I feel like you will see this person. And this person is a very hard worker, okay? They're creating something, they're building something, mass producing something day after day after day after day. Um, let's take a look here and see what else. Uh, it feels like craftsmanship because each one of these pentacles, it's unique, it might be an artisan. It's unique. Each thing that they create is unique and different from the one uh, before. Each each thing has its own. This person, I really like the energy. Very creative energy for some of you. Oh my God. Eight of Pentacles on the Eight of Pentacles. I mean, you can't get any more. This could be a jeweler. Somebody, listen, look at these. Look at the images, okay? Look at the images. <laughs> This person is very similar to you in a lot of ways because you guys work really hard. This person works really hard. Um, they're building something. There's a there's a match here in the pentacle energy. There's a match. Okay. This person does not. Like, they work so hard so that they can be able to provide for themselves and others. They do not do well um, if they're not working <laughs> are they like a workaholic where they're not involved like they can't have time for relationship no I don't feel that way at all um, I feel like they just understand they have a very strong work ethic they may have um, when you meet them they may have had some financial loss in the past okay let's take a look here yeah Ace of Pentacles, but they've recovered. Oh, I feel like this could be like a loan officer. Look at all this Pentacle energy. You guys, there's so much similarity here between you and this person. Oh, yeah. Okay, they're just giving me this message. For some of you, this person knows you. Or they've seen you somewhere. Or when you meet there'll be like this familiarity, like a past light, like have, did we meet before? That kind of thing. Or have I seen you before? You look familiar to me. That kind of energy playing out. But this is like, oh look, the two of cups is at the bottom of the deck. This is soulmate energy. This is what I said, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. So I see similarity, but there's something about you and this person that there's it's like wow it's not like your past person they're not like that what you thought your past person was your type this person is not usually your type yet it's the same feeling it's the same wow feeling it's crush it's smitten it's enthusiasm, it's excitement. This person will feel about you the way you feel about them. The communication, it's like 
excitement. It just feels like, oh my gosh, like you, you both will feel like, okay, wait, <laughs> this person wears polyester pants or they have super, super short hair, or no hair at all. Like this is not usually what I'm attracted to, but man, there's this thing. There's a spark. That's what the page of wands is it's like a spark gets ignited between the two of you. And look at that. You guys get together. I feel like there's like dinner or drinks or a meeting here. There's a mutuality between the two of you that's just so beautiful. Look at the spark here on that cup. Okay, there's a light. This is chemistry. But there's also compatibility as well, which is the two of cups. Now, some of you may already be, have already met this person, like you're already involved with them. Okay. Um, and you're still letting go of that past energy. And that's fine because you're transitioning out of one thing and into the next. It doesn't feel like a rebound or anything like that. I feel like whomever you were with in the past was for quite some time, um, like a long enough time where it, it's not a rebound. <laughs> it's not a rebound. This is your, per this is something I, this feels like something you, you need to be experiencing in your life at this time. Somebody completely different, somebody completely unexpected, not your usual type. You need to have that contrast, I feel, to help you understand better what you were in. Let's see. Now your hopes and fears. So, hmm. You're kind of on the fence. Like some of you, I feel like you do... Some of you do want this new love and some of you are indifferent. So there's a little bit of numbing that you're still going through, you know, because it's just, like I said, you're in this transition. You're kind of like one foot out the door and one foot in the past. It's kind of like you're in slow motion. That's what I just feel, slow motion. You want new love to come in, but still you're grieving. You're still heartbroken a little bit here. You're still processing out the loss. So you're not rushing into anything right away. And that's okay. You're hoping for, <laughs> you have the, look at that. That's the ace, ace of cups right there by the clouds. See the hand coming down. You're hoping for a surprise love to come in and, you know, whisk you away, take you away. You're hoping for that, right? But you're also fearing it because you don't know if you're ready. And that's fine. I don't feel like somebody new that's coming in here has any intention to push you or rush you into anything. Their excitement and their overzealous joy and smitten and crush energy with you um, may make you feel like they're trying to rush you, but I don't feel like they really are. I just feel like they're just overwhelmed with, they feel so free. They're just so happy to have met you and for you to even be giving them a chance or a time of day, okay? So they feel enthusiastic about you. And it may seem, it may feel to you like, oh, they're, it's smothering, it's too quick, I'm not ready. It's okay, you can express that to them. You could just tell them. Um, don't, I feel like that, you know, energy with this person will wear off a bit and things will settle down a little bit. So try not to, uh, you don't have to, you don't have to rush. You do what's best for you, Virgo. That's what I feel. Do what is best for you. Let's take a look at your outcome here. Huh. Okay, you have the Eight of Swords and you have the Ten of Swords. So all of your insecurities, all of your mental restrictions, all of the things that changed the core of your brain for quite some time that had a huge effect on you, that's going to be done with. That's going to be over. Any kind of betrayal that you felt with someone in the past, um, that's ending. Okay. Like in other words, that hit you took to your self-esteem by loving someone who wasn't loving you back or wasn't treating you well, um, or who betrayed you. Okay. Um, I feel like you hit rock bottom with that. Like, I feel like in other words, that energetic pain that you feel from something, from someone in the past, and what they did, it, it comes to an end. Now, this could be going into the new year. Um, I'm hearing the dates December 8th or December 10th. And I am going to give you guys dates because I didn't give the dates. Oh, yeah. Look. 
Six of Cups here. I do feel that I'm going to tell you, Virgo. <laughs> Remember when I said this person feels like you will be together again? This person, I do feel, once the negative energy releases and it's gone and things have settled, I do feel like your past person is going to reach out and try to reconcile with you. Now, does that mean they're going to try to stir up this relationship again? Not necessarily. It could be just the closure that you needed. And by that time, maybe you won't need it anymore. But it could be closure coming in for some. And that might, in closure in the sense where it's like, you know what? Let's let bygones be bygones. It wasn't meant to be. Um, I wish you well. I wish you well too. That kind of thing. For some, it could be that. For others, it could just be that this person realizes that the way that they put restrictions on your relationship, this past person, um, and how they betrayed you, they come in with an apology or they come in to try to like sort things out with you and see if you guys can have an, a fresh brand new start. Now Virgo isn't always the way it goes. So you have a decision at some point in your life. You don't have to make a decision right now um, about a new person or a past person. You just have to let things play out and just keep doing what you're doing in your life. Okay, yeah. Oh, the tower is here. So this will be a shock. I feel like, Virgo, <laughs> a lot of you, I do feel like this person will never do something like that. They will never make some kind of apology. It's just not in them. It's just not how they are. Why would they? And I'm not even sure that they loved me. I do feel like you're going to get the shock of your life that this person is going to actually come to the sen their senses. They do feel like you are their soulmate. And I think you felt that too, but there's a lot of unanswered questions about what happened. I do feel like this person is going to tell you um, maybe they were on their addictions. They've hit rock bottom with their addictions, their mental restrictions. They may have had depression, anxiety. This person may have had um, some type of a mental disorder or something along those lines or something from their childhood um, that they're getting help with. Um, there's. It feels like an energy of like um, they're thinking about the past and they're they just want everything to just be broken down and to try to start over. But some of you are also in this position where thank you for saying that. Thank you for giving me that. I needed that. But I think I've met my true soulmate now. And I'm just, this whole thing is just, you know, come to a finale here. Okay. And I'm done with it. And you're moving on because you've met somebody else. So you have some stuff going on here, Virgo. I'm not going to lie. Okay. The magician is here. So this is like, there's definitely a manifestation happening at the end of this time period going into, I feel like December that somebody is going to try to come back and try to start over and rebuild and try to creatively make something happen, laying all their cards on the table, hundred percent. Um, but that is also happening for you in a new love relationship as well. <laughs> so you're going to have to choose from the past and, and the, not necessarily. I don't see you being in a dilemma here at all. I feel like when that time comes, you're going to know. You're going to know. You're going to know what's the best thing to do. I can't choose for you. I can't tell you if, you know, what you need to do here. Um, I want to, but I feel like in this reading here, I, I don't, I don't see anything here that's saying, make a decision for yourself. I feel like trust your intuition. And when the time comes, you'll know what to do. I just want to get your messages of love here. And then we're, I'm going to pull some numbers for you. I'm going to pull some dates. I did say December 8th through the 10th might be significant or November 8th through the 10th was significant. Okay, here and now, your true love is already part of your life. Oh my gosh. This coincides with, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So some of you are with someone right now. Okay, 
this is this is your true love the person you are with right now okay if you need that confirmation you, that's it right there okay um if you don't have anybody that you're with right now this could be somebody coming in like i said you may have already seen them or experience them in some way maybe you saw them in your mind's eye or you had dreams about this but they keep showing up in your dreams you're manifesting this person <laughs> oh my goodness they may be in your periphery and not actually here okay spiritual lesson this person this new person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson but a healing one i feel like maybe the last connection you had was in your life to teach you a karmic lesson i don't know if you gave out bad karma from other relationships and you got it back hey listen it happens karma is karma um if there was bad karma that you gave out somewhere somehow maybe you don't even remember something in your past and somebody came into your life um, i know there are some people who were like some Virgos who were in relationships and were cheating on their partner and then left their partner for the for the one they were cheating with and then that cheating partner uh, dumped them or cheated on them that's like bad karma right that doesn't mean that you're like a imperfect horrible bad person it's just the choices we make when we make good choices we get that good stuff back at the time somebody may have felt like the decision they were making was a good decision but come to find out later that oh maybe that wasn't and now there's consequences to that okay that's not all of you but let's keep it real here we're not here on you know this ego trip we are all imperfect beings we human beings are so complex we are all so complex and sometimes people make decisions you or they and it's not until later where it's like oh shit I see now I understand maybe that are reflecting back on past decisions you know you Virgos all want your past person to reflect on their past decisions well Virgo has to do it too right so we keep it real here so this new person I feel like is in your life to bring healing to you in some way in one way or another okay is it gonna be romantic um I feel for some of you this will be a new romantic partner for others this feels like it could be somebody coming in who comes in as a very good friend or a mentor or someone that is a spiritual guru or something okay to help you heal or to help you deal or to help you okay they just said heal from your hurt and your pain and your grief um so that because you and a past person needed to go through this healing process in order to come back fresh and brand new again there needed to be a lot of there's forgiveness okay for some of you that is your story this may not be a romantic partner coming in new here this could be someone who comes in and kind of takes a place of a romantic partner but takes a place as a spiritual healer all right so keep that in mind keep it in mind remember it's general it can go a whole bunch of different ways Let's see what else. Okay, obsession. Someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts. Virgo, that's you. I feel like that's you. You're still letting go. Some of you just got ghosted or something happened and you have not been able to process the closure. And when that happens, there's a tendency to obsess over and over in your mind about, well, what did I say? Or what did I do? Or what didn't I say? What didn't I do? What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? The obsessive it's not obsessed with the person it's obsessive thoughts about trying to resolve something in your heart and your mind don't beat yourself up about that that happens when somebody leaves or even when someone passes away unexpectedly there's always those questions and there's always these tumultuous feelings you know a, a roller coaster of emotion that comes through what happened why well, i could have done this like so just label that when you feel that that's happening to you label it okay and say hey oh, i'm obsessing about this and what do i need to do to get some relief in my heart and my mind it's to pray or to talk to somebody okay or to write writing is very cathartic and healing okay yeah you do have new love coming in virgo and so as i said before i'm gonna say it again there is new love but there's also a recommitment 
to an old love between two people. Something's developing here, okay? Healing, listen, Virgo. The number one thing, if this is your story and what's going on with you, the number one thing I feel the message here they're saying is to focus on your healing first. Just do that first. Don't worry about everything and anybody else. Remember I said the other day, when you're just undecided, or you don't know what to do, or you don't know what path to take, um, if you need to just be done with something or just keep going, don't worry about that. When you're focusing on you and your healing and what's in the benefit for you, everything else just resolves itself. Let the chips fall where they may. Trust the process. Give it up to spirit and say, you know what? You take this right now. I need to focus on this boiling pot of water that's right in front of me that I got to deal with right here, right now. And that is my boiling heart. <laughs> okay. Children are important to this partnership. Okay. So there may, somebody might have children. Okay. You could be meeting someone that has children if, as in a romantic partner. Um, there could be children that are from a past relationship that you guys need to sort some things out as well. All right, let me see. I just kind of feel like Spirit's telling me to keep going. Longing. Someone is secretly longing and yearning for you. Hmm. We need to ask Spirit, can you tell Virgo who is secretly longing for Virgo? Who is this? Is this a new or an old? What can you tell us about this, Virgo? About for Virgo? Oh, this is a new person. Okay, for some of you, it's Aquarius, but this is a new. A, this new person has a yearning for you. <laughs> of course, Virgo. <laughs> Longing. And they're very attracted to you. This new person. I say, okay, protected. You are safe and divinely guided. I feel like it's a very strong message. You needed to hear that. Somebody here needed to hear that. Some of you are just, I don't know, uh, calling for protection, praying to Archangel Michael, praying to your angels for protection at this time, protecting your heart. For some of you, you're, you're in a safe place and healing. Here we go, Virgo. That's what I'm talking about, the healing. The healing is so important right now. You know what, you guys? I'm going to skip the charms today. We're just going to go into uh, dates, okay? And I know you guys love the charms. Yeah, I'll just pull one. I'm just going to get one, okay? They said one charm. Wow, that's so funny. Um, it's like a flower. It's a bronze, yellowish flower with black in the center. What's in interesting... I was just looking at wall decor flowers that look just like this today, this morning. So I was doing a little shopping. <laughs> so uh, let's see. You might have a clock that looks like that. Somebody has a clock on the wall. Oops. This feels like um, bronze and black, I'm hearing. Oh, they just gave me the Saints football team. I think their colors are black and gold black and gold something about black and gold saints the saints and i was talking about archangel michael i feel like that's a message here yes they're saying you need to start if you haven't already or if you've been slacking or if you just forgot you need to start praying to saint uh, archangel michael um or praying to spirit or god for protection angels protection like to guide you to fight your battles for you you're exhausted virgo you're tired ask them to fight your battles for you that's what i just heard very important message all right let's go and take a look at dates what important dates does virgo need to know at this time important dates for virgo wow Okay, and I'm not going to call out the cards. We're looking at the dates. Okay, somebody's name 
All right, they're giving me, they're get, also, they're telling me to give you um, initials as well. We ha uh, So I'm going to give you letters, okay? R, we have the letter R, we have the letter Z, an H. They're also giving me um, January 18th, might be an important time. Okay, they're giving me a G, a letter G. They're giving me um, March 8th. Okay. February 14th, it's a Valentine's Day. <laughs> I don't know, Valentine's Day, significant. Uh, February 1st, they're giving me a letter K, and letter K, and an, the letter N, as in no, and um, an S, um, they're giving me um, May 5th. July 8th, bear with me you guys, bear with me. We have a letter A, okay. I'm also hearing the 17th, okay, the 17th is significant date or day. Um, a letter C, sorry guys, letter C, um, and also, um, the fifth and also the 16th. We got the letter P. And, oh, hmm, that's strange. They're just saying the word me, me, M, like M E or M I, me. And an O, okay. I'm also hearing. Uh, again, the 10th, maybe December 10th, something significant. There's um, some new start happening on the 10th, December 10th, perhaps. I just heard somebody say my knees hurt something with my knee or I did something to my knee. I hurt my knee. I injured my knee. I had knee surgery. This is when I'm, you guys, this is when I'm really channeling hard here. Um, somebody's name is Aaron or Ariana or A Ariel. Uh, <laughs> did somebody recently purchase something from a 7-Eleven? I don't know. <laughs> but um, I feel like there's um, a November someone born in November, maybe the 7th, I heard as well. And I'm also hear hearing um, either the 9th or it's se September 9th. Okay. Um, December 3rd, a significant day. And also... Uh, and March 13th. As they just, somebody just said, I heard a voice that they said, not right now. Somebody said, not right now. Somebody's name is Joe. J-O, J-O-E, J-O, Jojo, Joanne, Joe. I'm hearing Joe. Or J.O. Maybe somebody's a jerk off. <laughs> oh, and then I just heard uh, J J E like G G J Joe G um, G Gina um, Jeff. June twentieth, they said. Oh.
Ursula or you, something about you, letter U or you, Ursula, a U. Um, then they're giving me June 19th. I love when they speak to me. I love it. Okay. Does somebody, somebody called somebody queen? Somebody called somebody queen. Okay. That was like a name. Maybe it was the first time you ever heard that, or that was a nickname for someone. It's something to do with the queen. Okay. Ripali, I'm hearing. And then, um, They're saying February 6th. And then I heard someone say, roar like a lion. Roar like a lion, like, arr. And that's a pirate. Maybe roar like a pirate. I don't even freaking know. You guys, I just want to get one more message for you, and then I'm going to close it out. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't go like... I was going to go like... Uh, no, never mind. I'm going to leave it. Oh, here you go. Test of faith and boundaries. This is the like major theme for what's going on here, Virgo. You are being tested for sure. I feel like that is the whole theme of this reading, overarching theme. A test of faith and boundaries as you sort through some pretty serious things in your heart at this time and, and as you process something out with the old and in with the new and then the old comes back and then you've got the new and what are you doing and you have a lot going on so look at this table it is nothing but cards everywhere and i love it i'm gonna like see if i can make a table with all of my old decks and just kind of glue all the cards down like this and then put some glass over top of it and that looks so cool I would love that. All right, you guys. So this felt like kind of, kind of deep, but kind of like a moving on kind of reading. So I hope that this gave you some clarity. That's for sure. And of course, I will be back tomorrow night to do the uh, next day's reading. I hope that you like it. At least if you did, please do hit a like on the video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe and tick the notification bell so that you will be alerted. Um, when I upload, listen, you guys, if you tick the notification bell and you're still not getting alerts, you need to make sure you go into your phone. First of all, when you tick the bell, click all notifications and then make sure when you go into your phone, you have that enabled in the app. If you have the app, some of you, I know, get it like right on your computers, but if you're using your phone, you got to enable it in your phone or you won't know. And it'll just drop down or you'll get some type of message that, Hey, this video is about to start in 30 minutes. Cause I always pre premiere them. So you're prepared and you're there and you're ready and you can wait. All right, you guys. So make sure that you log in to the link below the video to go over and book a reading. If you need one, um, I'm going to be offering new services on my booking site for new different types of readings okay so just keep checking back and i will let you know what i have well we'll be creating and have available a lot of different prices a lot of cool stuff coming up so stay tuned i will see you guys tomorrow love you all bye